Hi, welcome to my kitchen. As you can see, we're in the middle of a bit of a renovation going on here. We've lived in this house for about 20 years and the kitchen, even though it still works well for me, the counters tops had worn out and it was time to do something new. So we decided we'd spend a little bit of time and effort and money and get the house back up to scratch again. And the kitchen is such an important integral part of my day. Everything in my day begins and ends in the kitchen. So I'm finding this really disconcerting and disruptive to my life. My kitchen is spread over the entire house. I've got stuff in every room and I'm trying to keep it sorted out so that when I need to find something, I know which room to go looking for. Last night, I um, began the process of clearing off all the counters and emptying a few drawers and, and things so that I, everything I thought would need to be moved so that the guys when they arrived today would be able to have access to, to it. And so they came today and as you can see all my countertops are gone and it's, it's quite novel actually because I have access to my dishes in a new in a new way. My Tupperware is there. The sink is a little bit awkward though because I have to get everything down a little pipe about that big around so I'm not sure we'll be doing dishes there today. But um, as they were working on it, it was really noisy, really loud, lots of hammers and chisels and drills and then suddenly they began shouting for me, hey can you come and empty this? Can you come and move that? And suddenly I was having to go into cupboards that I didn't think were going to be opened and be and have to remove stuff and s find another place to take it and hide it and and things that I thought were going to be nice and quietly left alone are suddenly being totally open and revealed to who knows these guys were. Sometimes we don't realize that personal renovations are just as important as household renovations. We figure we recognize that a house looks worn out, looks tired, looks like it needs updating, where we look at our personal lives and we say, well, it's not broken. It's still working just fine for me. Let's not touch it. Don't open those doors. Don't go anywhere beneath the surface because it works just fine for me and I'm managing just okay. When Grant and I were in our marriage difficulties, our counselor separated us to do some individual counseling and Grant went to the counselor and said, this is only going to take a couple of sessions because I don't need very much work. Well, God had something else in mind. God wanted to do some major work on his heart and he moved in with um, huge removal equipment to go deep into Grant's heart and do a major personal renovation on him. When we um, agree to allow the Lord to begin to work in our hearts, sometimes we aren't prepared for what cupboard doors he's going to open and reveal um, things that we have long hidden away, long um, buried because it was too difficult to deal with or too painful at the time. And we have to recognize that it's okay periodically to allow the Lord to open up those doors because when they are open, he begins to point out to us perspectives that we have that, of situations that weren't accurate, lies that we're believing about him, about, about other people, about ourselves that affect our relationships in every realm. And so we need to become more open to what he um, could potentially do in our lives if we would just open our lives to what the renovation he wants to do in our heart. Because when he changes the way we look at things the, and changes the lies that we've been believing, it um, improves our life beyond measure. Grant and I look back at the, those times that we spent in counseling and it wasn't fun at the time, but it certainly has changed our life far beyond our wildest imagination for the better. We would never go back to the way we were because of the work that God did in our lives. It has so much improved us. We weren't broke when we entered the, the counseling situation, but we are vastly improved because of it. My kitchen renovation is going to be done in a couple of days. Your personal renovation may take a little bit longer than that but it's worth it. Every step that we take hand in hand with God in doing a personal renovation of our lives simply is there to bring you to a point where his glory will be more able to clearly shine through you and be a demonstration to those around you. So um, we just want to encourage you to live a transformed life. It's time to take a look at whether or not you need a personal rev uh, renovation and then allow 
God to actually do it in you. So we want to hear from you now. How in the past has God done a personal renovation on you, on your heart, and how has that made a difference for you? And if this is your first uh, visit here and you're not familiar with this, you might want to sign up on the uh, email subscription form, which is usually... Um, Maybe it went to the dump with the counters. It's, it's one of the directions. And, and Grant will talk to you again next week. Also, a few weeks down the road, we'll post a picture in the newsletter of the finished product of what my kitchen is hopefully going to look like in a few weeks when we get the backsplash finally back on. So we'll talk to you later.